today what we're gonna make is some bowls. We've been making a lot of flat things, so I thought that we'd make something more 3D today. So you can still use the learning that you did from the mixed media collage last week, or the painting techniques we did the week before, or add in other creative ideas as well. But the simple way to make a bowl I make this a lot on balloons, so if you blow the balloon, you might have done this in school, you blow the balloon and you do the paper mache with tissue paper. So if you don't have paper mache or wallpaper paste to make that, you can just use PVA glue. So how I created this, this is just a simple toilet paper tissue and bowl. And all you need is a bowl or any shape bowl really, PVA glue, toilet paper, scissors for your trimming. Um, and some cling film or some plastic will do as well and then for decorating your paints or whatever it is you want to use inks things like that glitters um, and I'm going to incorporate decorating my bowl today with some of my mixed media I did last week so I love the rose petals and PVA glue that I used last week and I'm going to make a bowl with that now okay so that's one that I did um, and I'm going to show you the technique now and I painted it, put some gold paper, and then just glued on some funky things on the end. So you could use that for storage or something like that. Okay, so step one, what you're want, gonna wanna do is get your cling film, place it inside your bowl. That'll just protect and make it easier to get the shape out afterwards. Okay. And then you're gonna to wanna to get your tissue paper. I put it into little segments like that. And then we're going to layer them inside the bowl. I like to have a little excess on the top so I can trim it off later. Mm, I'll probably start with two. And then you're gonna layer all of that with the PVA. Don't worry if the toilet paper breaks. It's not really important at this stage because we're going to do maybe two to three layers of this. And I've watered down the PVA glue as well a good bit. I'm going to let it dry between sections. As you can see that's already coated the inside of the bowl there. and I leave a little excess on the top. It just makes it easier for the paper not to break if you water down the PVA glue. So once you've got your first layer done, what you're going to do is you're going to leave it dry out. If you have a lot of time, um, you can just leave it dry out. It'll probably take a couple of hours even. And if you want to speed up the process, then you can just use a hair dryer in between as well will help it or put it near a radiator or even outside in the sunshine if it's sunny outside but all of those things help it dry but ultimately you just want to let that layer dry before you go doing your second layer so you can see that one on that i made previously what i did was i put the masking tape inside it and then painted on pink decorated with some gold on the outside of the bowl, it was a different shape bowl I used for this one. I put different colored inks and then I hot glued on some things. So that's a really kind of gaudy style one that I did be previously. But it has its shape well and it's really nice and strong. That's about three layers of the PVA. Okay, so for this guy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little more subtle and I'm going to use these rose petals, dried rose petals, and I'm just going to sprinkle them in on the inside so I'm gonna get some PVA glue now and just stick those to the inside of my bowl and then when I'm finished that I'm gonna do another layer on top of those guys with the toilet paper again and then allow it to dry okay so the bowl has dried I've taken it out and I put a wire rim on the top of it. You can do that with a wire hanger. You just cut off what you need, spin it around itself, 
and then stick it inside. This stops it from shrinking too much so that it closes in at the top and um, because it does shrink a lot with the PVA so that held it in place. I put that on halfway through the drying process and the top rim here I don't really like how it's finished so I'm just going to I have my rose petals out there again that I used to fill and I'm gonna put some of them along the top using my hot glue gun just heating up here um, and as you can see there the edge is nice and straight because I cut off this excess so I cut off that little piece on the top and the scissors is fine to do that even the little excess piece that's left you could always then use it when you've done the wire like I have to cover over the top if you wanted just to finish off for that wire edge so there it is it smells really nice and now I'm going to finish off the edge with some dry rose petals So there you have it, and uh, that is my final rose petal bowl. You could use that to even store. You could just put in the little rose petals. I don't know if you want to even use these things in themselves, just making them is fun. But you could use them for little storage containers, or I've even put in my little um, clothes, my little craft pegs into that container and stuck some on the edge. So if you're like me and you've loads of craft materials, it can be nice to make your own little containers to store the different things that you have inside in them. This one was actually made with the onion package and the lemon package. So they come in those lovely colors like an orange, yellow, and green there. Some from onions, some from some shallots, and then some from lemons. And I put the toilet tissue inside. And as you can see, you can alternate how you do the edges. So I cut both of these straight and added pieces on here afterwards. But I cut little triangles out of this guy. So he's not quite dry, but you can see you can really use any materials to make them as long as they sit on a vessel. So there you have it guys. Have fun making your bowls. You can see you can make them from literally any material. This is just a taste of what you could make them with. So last week had inspired me doing the mixed media and I myself love using moulds to create things. So there's so many different shapes and vessels. Just make sure that when you are picking something that it doesn't curve back in because otherwise you won't be able to take it out of the mould. That's the only thing. That's why when you use the balloon and you pop the balloon afterwards, that technique is great for doing um, the shape of the balloon. But this needs to be able to come out of what you're creating afterwards. So it needs to not go back in again. So just curve it out. So just think of that when you're making it. You need to be able to remove it afterwards from the mould. I used a sieve for this one, a kitchen sieve. I put the clean fill inside it and sat in the sieve. I found the sieve quite good for um, drying it because there was holes in the bottom as well, which dried from both sides. The bowls take quite a long amount of time. Okay, have fun with it. Send me in your pictures and keep on creating, guys. Have a lovely week. Bye-bye.